This video will cover moderate questions part 2 regarding the topic of trigonometric substitution. Question 1. Let square root of x equal sin theta, then square on each side, x equals sin squared theta, then derive on each side, dx equals, use the chain rule, 2 sin theta, sin theta prime d theta, then dx equals 2 sin theta, cosine theta d theta. Or, from here, x to the power of 1 over 2 equals sin theta, then derive on each side, 1 over 2 x to the power of minus 1 over 2 dx, equals cosine theta d theta then we can rewrite as 1 over 2 square root of x dx equals cosine theta d theta however there is no such shape in the expression here then times 2 square root of x on each side then cancelled dx equals 2 square root of x cosine theta d theta then dx equals 2 square root of x is sine theta then cosine theta d theta we have the same shape back to the original the numerator square root of 1 minus x equals we can rewrite as 1 minus square root of x squared then square root of 1 minus which is a sine square root of theta then we can rewrite as cosine square root of theta the answer is cosine theta then back to the original the integral of the numerator is cosine theta divided by the denominator is sin theta then dx equals 2 sin theta cosine theta d theta then sin theta is cancelled equals integral of 2 then this one cosine squared theta d theta equals integral of 2 times the power of cosine is even then use the half angle identity for cosine which is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 then d theta then 2 is cancelled the integral of 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta then integrate theta plus do you remember the formula? The integral of cosine kx dx equals sine kx over k plus c. In here, the k equals 2, then sine 2 theta over 2 plus c equals theta plus sine 2 theta is 2 sin theta cosine theta over 2 plus c from here square root of x equals sin theta then theta equals arc sine of square root of x so theta is arc sine of square root of x plus 2 is cancelled from here, where theta is interpreted as an angle of a right triangle, with respect to angle of theta, the sine ratio is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So we label square root of x here and 1. Then b squared plus square root of x squared equals 1. Then b squared equals 1 minus x. Then b equals square root of 1 minus x. 
So adjacent side is square root of 1 minus x. Then use this triangle. Sine theta is square root of x. Then cosine theta is square root of 1 minus x. Then plus c. Question 2. Let e to the power of x equal tangent theta. Then derive on each side. e to the power of x dx equals secant squared theta d theta. Then divide by e to the power of x on each side. dx equals secant squared theta over e to the power of x d theta. Then we can rewrite as secant squared theta over the denominator e to the power of x is tangent theta d theta. And this part, square root of 1 plus e to the power of x, then square root equals square root of 1 plus tangent squared theta equals square root of secant squared theta, which is secant theta. Then back to the original integral of the first one, e to the power of 2x equals tangent squared theta. Then this part is secant theta. Then dx equals secant squared theta over tangent theta d theta equals tangent theta is cancelled then tangent theta secant theta times secant squared theta d theta now use u substitution let u equal secant theta then du equals secant theta tangent theta d theta then this part is the u squared, then this part is the u. Then integrate u to the power of 3 over 3 plus c. When u was secant theta, then 1 over 3 secant cubed theta plus c. Then draw the right triangle with the respect angle at theta. The ratio of tangent theta is opposite side over adjacent side. So we label e to the power of x and 1 here. Then c squared equals e to the power of x squared plus 1 squared. Then c squared equals e to the power of 2x plus 1. Then c equals square root of 1 plus e to the power of 2x. Then the hypotenuse is square root of 1 plus e to the power of 2x. Use this triangle. Cosine theta equals 1 over square root of 1 plus e to the power of 2x. Then secant theta equals upside down square root of 1 plus e to the power of 2x. Then back to the original. Then 1 over 3 times secant theta is 1 plus e to the power of 2x to the power of 1 over 2 then cubed plus c the final answer is 1 over 3 1 plus e to the power of 2x to the power of 3 over 2 plus c since we are running trigonometric substitution now we used it to integrate however this integral question is much easier and faster to just use u substitution. Shall we try it? Let u equal 1 plus e to the power of 2x, then derive on each side. du equals e to the power of 2x times 2x prime dx, then du equal e to the power of 2x times 2 dx, and divide by 2 on each side, 1 over 2 du equals e to the power of 2x 
dx. Back to the original, the integral of this part is square root of u. Then this part is 1 over 2 du equals 1 over 2 square root of u to the power of 1 over 2 du equals 1 over 2 times u to the power of 3 over 2 then upside down 2 over 3 plus c then 2 is cancelled 1 over 3 u was 1 plus e to the power of 2x to the power of 3 over 2 plus c we have the same answer so when integrating if the question doesn't specify which method to use just use an easy integrating method this is the last one here we need to use the by part first if using the by part is difficult try reviewing it the order to find u is repeat l i p e t l means lm i means inverse tree p means polynomial, e means exponent, and t means trig. By the way, e and t are not in any order, so l, i, p, t, e is okay. In here, u equals arc secant of 2x. Usually, students think that there is no dv for a moment, so we write a little one here. Then dv equals dx, v equals x, and derive on each side, du equals 1 over 2x times square root of 2x squared minus 1 times 2x prime dx, then du equals 1 over 2x square root of 4x squared minus 1 times 2dx, then 2 is cancelled, du equals 1 over x times square root of 4x squared minus 1 dx. Now use the formula integral of u dv equals uv minus v du. Then back to the original u times v is x times arc secant of 2x minus v means x integral x du part is this one 1 over x square root of 4x square root minus 1 dx then we can read it as x arc secant of 2x minus integral of x is cancelled 1 over square root of 4x squared minus 1 dx since the first part has already been determined let's do this integral part separately integral of 1 over square root of 4x squared minus 1 dx equals now we can use trigonometric substitution let 2x equals secant zeta, then derive on each side, 2dx equals secant zeta, tangent zeta, d zeta, dx equals 1 over 2 times secant zeta, tangent zeta, d zeta. The denominator part is square root of 2x squared minus 1 equals square root of 2x equals secant zeta then secant squared zeta minus 1 equals square root of tangent squared zeta which is tangent zeta then back to the original dx equals this part integral of 1 over 2 secant zeta, tangent zeta, d zeta, over the denominator part is tangent zeta, then tangent zeta is cancelled, 
one over two integral of secant theta d theta then one over two times ln absolute value of secant theta plus tangent theta plus c then draw the right triangle where the respect angle is theta from here secant theta is 2x then we label 2x and 1 here opposite side is square root of 2x squared minus 1 squared which is square root of 4x squared minus 1 then back to the original 1 over 2 and then absolute value of secant theta is 2x plus tangent theta is square root of 4x squared minus 1 plus c then the final answer is x arc secant of 2x minus the last part is here 1 over 2 ln absolute value of 2x plus square root of 4x squared minus 1 plus c I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.